was, oh. I know you're all wishing for a little uh, Timmy squeal. back over in the secret meadow finishing up clearing up the willow tree we still got to cut this one up into rounds and all the other fallout from everything that's going on just take a look up there there's another one hanging up in that oak tree it's just all a bit of a mess but we've cleared the path at least so i've grabbed this one i'm just gonna drive through and it'll probably swing around and then ditch it out of the way just for now I'm constantly impressed with what the thing can lift. That's got to be over 300 kilo. I mean, which basically means we're running the tractor. But there's no struggle, it's just lifting it straight up, and I, it helps we've got a good weight on the back. I just wonder if we've got the bucket empty, could we take this? up with us. Right, the logs are now dumped and uh, it's now time to swap over some implements. So I've taken the box off and it's a new one. It's the tow ball that we ordered for the three point linkage. And I think this is gonna come in handy for the chassis later on in the week. But for now we're moving, what are we moving? We're moving pig houses and things like that. The benefit being with this is rather than the car or just a conventional ball on the uh, back of the tractor because this is three point linkage we can lift it and lower it which i think would be quite handy with those chassis in the middle don't know how high it will go but actually one of the main things that we need to do is go super low simply because our chassis are quite low on the floor at the moment because of the angle. Right, we'll come back to the tractor later. First job to do this afternoon, finish the pig house. I've just picked up some new roof sheets. I say new, they were from the reclamation yard. They're kind of seconds and they got scratches and stuff on them, but I think they were 20 pound each, so. All good. Plus water troughs, pig food, rabbit food, cat food, seed potatoes, onion sets, plumbing parts, and everything else we could need. It's just an ever growing list. Oh, and electric fencing parts. Actually, job one really needs to be to put the piglets out in the electric fence training pen. Oh. Down here, we've got this energizer, which is the mains one from next door. Now that's going to be good because we're going to run it all the way down to the field for sheep in the future. But we need to see how this works out there for the pigs. I don't think I can turn it down, so it might might be quite a whack for them, but it's a good way to learn. It might seem cruel in a minute because when they get their first zap, they will make it known, but they squeal a lot anyway. Right, let's turn it off, get them in there, and we'll see what happens. 
Oh, all right, I didn't turn it on quick enough, did I? Come on, back in here. I'm sure there's some food left for you. Right, what is going on? You are not going to be going through that in a minute. Right, come on then. Everyone in. Everyone in. Everyone in, one more. The always blooming one. What's going on? What's going on? Even with the fence down. I'm gonna get myself on though. Careful, careful. It's not working, is it? Great, now we've got one on the wrong side. One of them has learned. Oh, oh. Get a throw. Turn it back on again. Oh, that was slick. That's two. Steady. Good girl. Man, they learn so quick. Apart from this one. We just need to turn it off for a split second to get her back through and then I can go and get on with other jobs and see how many stay in. Here she comes, here she comes, here she comes. All right, fence is off. In you go. She's just touched her nose on it. And now we're alive. I know you're all wishing for a little uh, Timmy squeal. Well, let's see, let's place your bets now, see how many get out. If they do get out, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. They can probably get through these gates, can't they? Right, completely sidetracked. I think I've lost about two hours chatting to neighbours and buying beehives off neighbours and things like that. Anyway, right, this is the plan. Managed to pick up some corner trims. Believe it or not, they had some clearance ones. So we can actually finish our corners all neatly. No sharp edges. So I'm going to cut those in a second. We can also put the same on the front, maybe if we need to otherwise we're going to paint these and then for the top you can see these are the end of the line or something or other they've got no paint coverage in certain areas it's just the galvanized so it doesn't really matter we'll paint them whatever color we want them to be they're three meters long we need them to be cut down so let's get on and do that Failed. We didn't finish today, but it's looking better than it did. So it's all pretty smart inside. Don't think the pigs will complain. Put those reclaimed barge boards that I bought, uh, you know, barge ends on, so that ties up any of the nasty bits there. Going to put some on the corners, but unfortunately, 150 by 150s don't quite get to it, so it's fine for now. And then finally, just to make sure there's not any sharp edges, I'm going to put one along the front. 
and then we'll put our boards and doors in the future. We don't need to do that straight away. I just, rather than just rip this with the circular saw, I'm gonna snip it and fold it like I did on the shed. That means we've got a curved corner rather than two sharp edges. All right, pig. Come on. All right, for our next trick, we've got to get six untrained piglets up the field. Come on, pig. Could be mayhem, this could be mayhem. Come on then, follow me. No, you're meant to be following, not blooming getting ahead of me. Good, good, come on. Bit of urgency here, we've got stuff to do. Right, it's just grass. Come on, I need this gate. Good. 